Hi there, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue Advice Show. Today's topic is, are my friends in my life for the right reasons? Now we hear about this a lot about relationships, love relationships, romantic scenarios, but we don't really always take time to sit and think about what's going on within our friendships. If your friendships are lopsided and you're giving more than you're receiving, you need to pay attention to this because you really want to have reciprocated love relationships, whether it's friendships or anything. Because when you're in a close uh, friendship with somebody, there's a lot of love involved because you're there for each other. You care about each other. You want the best for each other. But quite often what happens, especially I find with younger women, a lot of the times friends will become come around each other because of what they can get out of a scenario, who's popular, who who gives, you know, things that can help you so you end up being a bit of a taker in your friendships. Really pay attention in the early stages of a new relationship friendship because this will save you a lot of drama and toxic stuff down the road. You really should have expectations in friendships. And I mean reciprocated expectations. Not that you expect them to be there for you and do everything for you, but you both are there for so many different reasons with each other. There's not a lot of questions in your friendships. You know that if you need them and call them up, they'll be there for you and vice versa. So things to look out for if you're questioning whether you're in a good friendship or not is are you the one that's always calling? Are you the one always making the effort to get together. Every time they call you, do they need something? Are they asking you for things to help them all the time? So you start to feel that your friendship is all about, you know, what works for them and how much you can do for them. These are things that it might make you feel really good sometimes when your your peep your friends are asking you to to be there for them. And, but if it's not reciprocated and you're not getting it back, it's a very empty feeling after a long time of doing this. You feel like you're in this really lopsided scenario and you go home sometimes and you just feel like all your white light is drained out of you because you've given it all to them. What are you getting back? If you don't have expectations in your friendships that they should be returning some wonderful qualities and, and amazing things to you as well, then you're going to end up keep meeting people like this because you don't have the boundaries to stop them from coming in. You need to have boundaries. Do they rely on you for their social life? Are you the fun person and you're, you're out there all the time and you've got all these events you can go to and they want to be your plus one at a lot of these events, but are you getting that back from them or are they just hanging on to your coattails? This is something that you really want to pay attention to. Do they bail on you last minute? You've got all these plans to go and do something and then all of a sudden they just say at the last minute, no, I can't, I, something came up. If you're always sort of their second, third or fourth choice, you need to find out early on because you don't want to sit there and waste your time with people who are just using you or people who are coming into your life just, you know, to have that buddy there on a rainy day. You want to be there for them in, and have them in your life for all sorts of different reasons. You want to be able to trust your friendship with them and trust that they're there and they have your best interests at heart. Do they ask questions about how your life is going or are they talking always about what's going on in their life? Like, I really find that this works well. When you go out for lunch with a girlfriend, say, okay, I'm going out for lunch with my girlfriend and we're have a two hour lunch. At the end of that two hours, what did I learn about my friend? What did she learn about me? Was it a reciprocated conversation where we both go home and think, wow, okay, if somebody asked me a question about what was going on in her life, I could actually answer it. Quite often it happens where one person dominates the conversation and the other person goes home feeling like, wow, I, only, I don't even think they asked me how I was. So make sure when you're deciding on whether you want to keep people in your life, that you, you put all these things forward and start asking those questions to yourself. Are they there for the right reasons in my life? Because you are the one, and I've mentioned this in so many videos, that attract people towards you. So if you're attracting a certain type of friendship or a certain type of you know partner into your life, you want to understand, 
is this a good thing or is this causing me a lot of toxic drama? So pay attention. There's nothing wrong with diagnosing what's going on. And if you are making mistakes and letting in people that are draining you, taking away your energy because you're giving more to them, there's nothing wrong with just removing yourself from the situation and bringing new people into your world that extend your happiness and you extend theirs. That's what a true friendship is. It's understanding what's going on in each other's lives, being happy for them when things go well and being that for them when things aren't going well. That's what a true friendship is. Thanks for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please keep your questions coming to cybersue.com and leave your comments below here too. I take a lot of those comments and make them into show topics. Thank you so much for visiting Cyber Sue. Please subscribe. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.